good morning students let's start our today's class so today's date is 16th february 2022 and we are going to continue with the play raja's useful collection so the learning outcomes of today's class are you will be able to interpret the characters that means we are going to discuss the characters of the play and then we will be discussing the conjunctions because we have already discussed in the grammar uh, textbook so you will be able to recall the conjunctions and collective nouns so the characters that we have uh, discussed in the play the raja's useful collection are the narrator miss maya raja lena mary and ali that means there are total six characters in the play now first we are going to talk about the narrator now who is a narrator narrator is the person who tells the story so he is not a a person who is active in the play i mean he has the physical appearance but he is the person who tells or narrate the story then we have miss maya so miss maya is a teacher so she uh, she teach in lajpat lane school and in her in her class she has 20 children now remember the name of the school of miss maya which is lajpat lane school and she has 20 children in her class and among this 20 children we have raja lena maya then uh, ali etc so next raja raja is the main character of the play so the whole uh, play is centers around raja and miss mostly miss maya okay so other characters have also their role but they are very little little but miss maya and raja plays the main role in this play so he wears trousers which has pockets in them so raja mostly wear trousers which have pockets so most of us uh, there are some children who likes to wear pocket pants or trousers with uh, many pockets now raja was a collector now who is a collector a collector is a person who collect things it can be anything so he collected things that was interesting and fitted into his trouser pockets so that means that is that is the reason behind uh, you no know, liking the trousers with pockets that means he wanted to because he, as he is a collector he always wanted to collect the things and he used to collect those things which can be kept inside his pocket okay so that is why he wanted the trousers with pockets now as he was beginning his uh, morning routine of going to school then on his way he found a strong thick rubber band so sometimes we can see you know somebody uh, you know on the road we find some things it has been fallen from someone someone's hand or from somebody's uh, pocket so similarly he found a strong thick rubber band and this rubber band has been slipped off from the post woman's bundle of letters then what did raja do he picked it up and put it inside his pocket the second thing he found was a flat round pebble so i am going to mention the uh, i have you mentioned the this one the things that raja have collected so you have to be very careful what are the things he has collected the first thing that he has collected was a rubber band the second thing was a flat round pebble the third a shiny silver safety pin after the safety pin was a matchbox which he have collected then the fifth one was a long piece of green string near the hatch so where did he found a green string it was lying near the hatch and again he picked it up and put it inside his pocket then the last one when he was just near the gate i mean he was almost he has almost reached the school and he was nearly at the school gate then he found a tiny broken piece of red brick and that also he put it inside his pocket now we will talk about uh, how this the this everything you know that raja has collected how the small small things came in useful in that particular day in the school so when raja went inside the so we came to know that until uh, he went inside the school just before just before the school gate just near the school gate he found a we have uh, he found a string right just a minute yeah sorry not the string he found the red brick 
Okay, the broken piece of red bead was the last thing that he found just as he was about to get inside the school. Now, after getting inside the school, what are the things, the things that he has you, uh, collected, how it had been useful for his friends and his teachers? When Raja went into the classroom, the first person he saw was Miss Maya. And what was Miss Maya doing? She was watering the plants. Then, the string. Now comes the objects, the things that he had collected. The first thing that he used was the string. How the string held uh, his teacher, Miss Maya. So, Miss Maya used the string to tie the plants to a stick. So, we came to know that Miss Maya was watering the plants. Now, she came... And as uh, she was watering the plants, she saw that the plants are becoming tall and she need to uh, hold them. No, they, she need to tie them so that they st uh, stand straight. And in that, in that very timing, Raja came and Raja held Miss Maya by giving, him, by giving her the string to tie the plants. Next, the safety pin. How the safety pin became useful? So Miss Maya pinned the Lena skirt strap to the skirt. So with the safety pin, Miss Maya, she pinned the Lena skirt. Then the flat round pebble. So Mary used it to recover from her headache. So after pinning up Lena's uh, skirt, we came to know that Mary was having, uh, Mary was not feeling well, she was having headache. So Raja gave her the round pebble, the flat round pebble, so that she can recover from her headache. Next, Raja found, uh, Raja found was the matchbox. And in the meantime, when Ali was playing, so he, his tooth, his little baby white tooth came out and Raja gave his matchbox so that Ali can keep the white tooth in that matchbox. Next, the red brick. The red brick was the... Uh, thing that he found just near the school gate. So they wanted, uh, Miss Maya took the children for playing and uh, she wanted to, she wanted them to play the hopscotch. Now for the hopscotch, she had to write the numbers and uh, draw the squares. Now hopscotch is the game which you can see on the screen. I have put a picture. So it needs some uh, chalk to write it on the floor or the ground. The numbers and the squares. So now, as Miss Maya has not bought the chalks, so Raja helped her by giving her the red bricks to write numbers on the pavements in the squares for hopscotch. And the last one was the rubber band. So Raja actually he uh, he painted a picture of Batman and Robin in the Batmobile. Now Miss Maya she rolled it out and gave it to Raja to take it uh, so that he can carry it to home. Now he used that rubber band to roll it and put it inside uh, sorry not put it inside so he rolled the painting so that he can carry it comfortably to it to his home so these are the things that raja collected and how it became useful after he entered the school now we have uh, completed the interpretation of the characters now let us come to the conjunction so conjunctions we have already discussed. So conjunctions in this very simple word is called the joining words. It joins sentences, it connects words, it connects parts of the words or sentences. So here we have the conjunctions and, but, because, so, and, or. So when do we use and? So and is used when uh, the sentences or the words show similar idea. For example, I have a pencil and an eraser. Patrika and City are neighbors. So they are showing the similar idea or similar things. In that case, we are going to use the conjunction and. But. But is used to join two ideas that are opposites. When two things are opposite, then we are going to use the conjunction but. Things or sentences. When the opposite, when it is opposite. Param is poor, but he is happy. He fell into the drain but was not hurt. So here we have two opposite meaning. So in that case, we are going to use the but. Next we have because. Because is used to show reason. I did not go swimming because it was raining. 
we could not sleep because it was too hot when we have to show a reason or give a reason we use the conjunction because the next one is so so is used to show result it was raining so the game was cancelled so why, what is, why the game was cancelled what is the result of being cancelled because it was raining so we are going to use the conjunction so it was raining so the game was cancelled or or is used to show us choice when there are options or choice we use the conjunction or suppose you have the option of having tea and coffee so do you prefer tea or coffee in that case we will be using or so you can choose only one option do you prefer tea or coffee you can order pizza or fried chicken so you have two options so you can choose only one in that case we are going to use the conjunction or now let us come to the exercises from the textbook from page number 136 so here we have some uh, conjunctions join the sentences with any of any one of the conjunction and or but so and because so let's check it out raja was particular about his trousers he always had pockets in them so we are talking about the same idea it was about the same we are talking about the same trouser so in that case we will be using the n but when we use the n we are going to edit the he because we are already using raja so raja was particular about his trousers and had all and had sorry and always had pockets in them number two the things raja picked seem silly they were very useful now both are showing opposite meanings the things raja picked seem silly but they were very useful you can write it in your copies or if there are any if there is any space in your book you can write it down itself uh, there itself the number three Raja offered Mary the smooth round pebble. She had a headache. Now there is a reason for, uh, we have to give the reason, right? Why he offered the smooth round pebble? So there is a reason to eat. So we are going to use the conjunction because. Raja offered Mary the smooth round pebble because she had a headache. Number four. Raja gave Miss Maya the long string. She could tie the plant to the stick. So here we are going to use the conjunction so. Raja gave Miss Maya the long string so she could tie the plant to the stick. Next, number five. Should I pick up the safety pin? Should I pick up the matchbox? So there are options. So in the options or choice, we are going to use or. Now see. Here also in the first sentence, you can see, should I pick up the? And in this sentence also, should I pick up the? So we are going to omit one sentence and add the matchbox here. So should I pick up the safety pin or the matchbox? So these was this was the exercise from the conjunction. Now let us move towards the collective nouns. So collective nouns is very, uh, it's not new to you. So nouns we have already studied so collective means collection when there is a group of things or people we we name them as a unit we name them so that is called collective noun suppose you have lots of flowers with you then you're going then we are going to call it as bunch of flowers or bouquet of flowers if there are lots of letters with you many letters like five six or ten letters with you we are going to say bundle of letters so together when they are in a group we call it as collective noun and we keep the names to each one of it so we have here on page number 137 unscramble the words to get the right collective nouns in the jungle we could see a dash of monkeys swinging uh, in the trees so here the collective noun will be troop t r o o p troop Number two, we each picked a dash of juicy grapes from the vine. So grapes, we call it as bunch. So it will be bunch of grapes. Next is a long dash of steps led to the top of the tower. So a long flight. So when it is steps, we use the collective noun flight. Number four, our cat has just 
had the a uh, dash of seven kittens when there are kittens we call it as litter so together when there are uh, babies of the cat we call it as litter of kittens a dash of sheep was grazing in the field so sheep we use the collective noun flock a flock of sheep was grazing in the field then we come below to the dictionary word the silent w so sometimes there are some words where the letters are silent for example the words are already given in the green box if you read out the, if you pronounce the words the w we don't pronounce it we don't say wrong we call it as wrong w is silent here and we pronounce the word with r wrong right rap wriggle wrinkles so here in each of the word the w is silent and together we are going to fill up the blanks with these words number 1 i always dash my homework neatly so in this uh, blank we are going to use the word write this is number 1 i always write my homework neatly Number two, the old man had dash on his face. So, so the old people have uh, the face becomes wrinkled, right? So we are going to write the word wrinkles in second. The old man had wrinkles on his face. Number three, get paper to dash the present. So we, uh, whenever we are going to give a gift, we use to wrap it up, right? So we are going to use the word wrap. So get paper, get paper to wrap the present. Number four, the worm began to dash on the soil. Have you seen the earthworm? How do they do? They wriggle, right? They wriggle like this. So the word wriggle will come in number four. The worm began to wriggle on the soil. And the last one, number five, the answer to that question is wrong. So these are the dictionary words that we have done today. And I hope you have understood the characters. Go through the characters once again read the play with this i'm going to conclude my class thank you